Coney Island celebrates the cyclone's 90th birthday and more. America's most famous roller coaster turns 90 this year, and you re-invited to the party. Celebrate the cyclone, Coney Island's iconic wooden coaster, with a block party on June 25th at Luna Park. Can team make to Brooklyn's beachfront playground on that date? No worries there is plenty of fun to be had before then. While many Coney Island businesses remain open year-round, spring and summer is when the seaside destination really shines. Here are highlights, details and dates to keep in mind at Coney's Cantina's spots. The amusement park opens for the season on April 8, with the debut of new virtual reality technology on one of its rides. The Wind Stars, which lets riders feel like they rehang gliding, will now offer virtual reality headsets for 12 of its 24 seats to give guests a more interactive experience. Stop by April 9th for Luna Park's opening day ceremony where the first 100 guests will be able to ride the cyclone for free. Mr. Met will be there, along with political officials, for the annual egg cream christening on the cyclone. The classic coaster will later be toasted with a block party on June 25th to mark 90 years since it opened. Expect music, games, giveaways and more starting at noon. There are plenty of other thrills to be had at Luna Park all season long, from dozens of rides like the Thunderbolt Coaster and Speedboat, to games like Frog Bog and Water Racer. Don't team this epic snack joints including White Castle Express and the original location of Nathan S. Famous. Entry to Luna Park is free, and guests pay per ride or for a wristband that allows access to certain attractions in 4-hour time blocks. Wristband packages range from $20 to $70 person. Hurricane Sandy flooded the facility in 2012, but today the New York Aquarium is doing swimmingly. It's undergoing construction for both storm recovery and an expansion that is scheduled to be completed next year but the aquarium remains partially open. For now, you can view marine life in the conservation hall, watch black-footed penguins and sea otters being fed, view a sea lion show at the Aqua Theater, or check out a film at the 4D Theater. General admission is $11.95 for those three and over, and free for kids two and under. Parking is $13 per car now, but jumps to $24.95 which includes the driver's aquarium admission, from Memorial Day to Labor Day. The Wonder Wheel has towered over Coney Island since 1920. At 150 feet tall, it's 24 cars 16 of which are swinging cars, and 8, stationary can hold 144 people total per ride. Designated a landmark by the New York City's Landmarks Preservation Commission in 1989, the Wonder Wheel isn't he the only draw on site. Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, opening April 8, also houses other adult rides like bumper cars and a spookyrama, along with a kiddie park with 16 rides including a tilt-a-whirl and carousel. Costs vary for rides and bundles can also be purchased. Check the site for prices. There are plenty of bars along the boardwalk, but to get a taste of how your beer is made, visit Coney Island Brewery. There, ULL and Fine 8 House brewed beers on tap that rotate, including brewery exclusives like Long Neck Clam Stout and My Coney Island Baby. Sample four different brews in a flight for just $8 and enjoy them on one of the picnic tables at front. Free tours of the brewery take place Thursday through Sunday at 2, 4 and 6 p.m. Check the site for special events and for hours, which vary by season. The museum is run by the non-profit Coney Island USA, which also puts on the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, returning for the season on May 6th, and Burlesque at the Beach, coming back May 5th. Check site for dates, hours and prices for all events. And don't te miss the 35th Annual Mermaid Parade on June 17th at 1 p.m., starting at W. 21 Street and Surf Avenue. In cooperation with the New York Transit Museum, the exhibit called Five Cents to Dreamland just opened at Coney Island Museum. It explores how mass transportation from the horse-drawn carriages, steamboats, and railroads of the past, to the buses and subways of today played a major role in Coney Island's development.
The story is told through maps and images in this exhibit that was previously on display at the Transit Museum. Admission, $5 for adults, $3 for seniors and kids under 12, also lets you view artifacts in the museum's permanent collection, like funhouse mirrors and a collection of coolers and thermoses from the 50s and 60s.